Rich Bonaducci promised us some culture. We're gonna, you know, I don't know, get hoity-toity. Sure right <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm not gonna be the one to class the join up. This talented young lady is. Ballet West launches Winter Streaming, the best of Ballet West, a series of archival ballots edited and uploaded free of charge to Ballet West's social media platforms. Each week's release will be accompanied by a director's point on Tuesdays, and then the ballet will be uploaded at 6 p.m. the following Friday on Ballet West's Facebook and YouTube pages. The performance will be available for one week, and speaking of performances, this Talented principal artist is Emily Adams in George Balanchine's Emeralds, which is getting the director's point treatment tomorrow from artistic director Adam Sklute. Then on Friday, the ballet itself will be uploaded online. What a great way to uh, uh, enjoy some arts and entertainment that have kind of been on pause for a long time and you don't even have to leave the house to do it so that's great but speaking of some other kinds of entertainment let's check out the weekend box office i can assure you all we are taking a 24 7 all hands on deck approach to these cases guys a shark if he stops he dies he likes to drive probably has a decent car maybe two high mileage you must really like my car i do How's the trunk space? Huh. Denzel still got it. And Jared Leto is still creepy. Even even in a movie that was not super well liked by the critics, to be sure, or the, or, or the audience. And by the way, this actually did this well, even though it was also released online with HBO Max. This is the most money an R-rated movie has made, actually, since the pandemic started back in May. And that's what matters, right? 4.8 million little matters. That's the biggest R-rated opening again since well, last year. And the crude's A New Age goes up 2.5% to hold in second place in its 10th week. Wonder Woman 84 is in third with 1.3. The Marksman is in fourth with 1.25. And Monster Hunter is in fifth place with $740,000. However, if you were to look at the ratings on Rotten Tomato, that chart pretty much flips. Now remember, this is not necessarily a percentage of how many people thought it was like an A, B, or C. Rotten Tomatoes is a percentage of how many people th thought it wasn't an outright failure, pretty much. So look at these numbers here and you'll see that it's pretty much backwards, very different. The Crude's A New Age is one in the lead with 85% average. Wonder Woman 84 average is 67. Marksman average is 60. Monster Hunter 58. And the box office champ, The Little Things, is at the bottom of Tomato Meter with a 55%. So we'll see how long it holds its first place position at the box office. But the big question is, Carrie, did you get to watch those movies you were interested in seeing like Nomad Land. Did no, you, I haven't you, watched you it yet. Check those out? Because I would have called you, Rich. Oh. I want to talk to you about it <laughs> once I watch it. Okay. Okay. Well, guess what? I'm going to be in the studio tomorrow. I Whoa. am back in the studio, so maybe we can talk about it. Well, it's the dawning of the age of Aquarius. New slash. <laughs> yeah. It's a new day. That's right. Finally, we haven't seen you in person since That's right. what, March? It's been so nice. A year. It's about a year. <laughs> no. We're excited to have you in here, Rich. Yeah, no, you add a lot to the newsroom. A lot. Seems like you should come back in with donuts or bagels. Yeah. Or That's what it seems like, doesn't seems it? Seems like, yeah. <laughs> Since we right. never do that, right. you ought I'll, I'll to. See, I'll see what I can do. Yeah. All right, okay. see you, Rich. I'll see what see I can do. It's, it's earlier than I'm used to waking up now, but okay. Uh-oh. Time to get used to the new normal. Well, and you know what? Yeah, Thanks, I got to wear pants and everything. Yeah, I know. Please get dressed tomorrow. 